Hey everybody, it's me James and I'm going to shave. And once again, it is for just one July. Today is Thursday, July 27, 2017. And the soap is going to be Mile High Menthol, once again from Katie's Bubbles. And it's been great using this for most of this month. At least 90% of my shaves, if not higher. The razor, once again, the Asylum RX SE. And tonight it once again has the uh, Feather Professional standard. The brush. The Savile Row Shave the Man Limited Edition 2015 brush. Post shave, some Thayer's. And then I'll be following it up with some, uh, I think Gonzo calls this Atlantis, which is his bay rum. So thank you again, Brother Gonzo. Appreciate it. All right, so I already have the soap in my Lady C Creations bug. And I'm going to just add it to my brush warming water. There we go. There. Just a smidgen on top. Oh. Shavebridge. Four Roses Yellow Label. Salute. Started training camp today. Gift from Guy Solace. Thank you, brother. The glass. Mm -mm. Oh. And stopping in for the shave is Steve. Say hi, Steve. Hey, everybody. It's me, Steve Walker, your rock and shade of shaver. Well, thanks, Steve. Thanks for stopping by, brother. All right. So, I just got out of the shower, so whiskers should be pretty well prepped, but I'm going to go ahead and just warm them up just a little bit more. go. Now I will proceed to load the brush. So here we go. Hope y'all's day's gone well. Your week, in fact. Uh, thankfully, uh, as far as neg negative stuff, nothing negative has been happening. So <laughs> that's always a plus. My son's birthday was earlier in this week, just turned 17, and he is now a senior in high school, and he's been doing his football camp stuff for varsity, so I'm just so happy for him to be a part of that. I know he's a wide receiver, and I think he's been also trying to work as a defensive back this year as well. So, I know he's excited. I'm excited. I just want to get get to it and see Friday Night Lights. Yeah. But most importantly, just the fact that he takes care of himself. Works out very hard. Even in his off-season. Before this all started for the summer time. Dave Bradner. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate the birthday wishes to my son. All right. There we go. So I think that's pretty well loaded. Got it nicely saturated there. So here we go. Got to take the proto lather. <laughs> Can't waste the proto lather. You work for it, and it's a wonderful pre shape because you know what? It matches the soap. <laughs> it just so happens to match the soap. All right.
Yeah, so my stylist was out most of the week. And I was actually thinking about dropping by and seeing Ivy today because I had some time earlier. But her shift at that particular store ended. So I'll just have to work on to my next plan, which is Saturday. I might call tomorrow and see if she's there. But Saturday always works because uh, the Tinderbox cigar shop is like right next door. <laughs> To the shop that she works at here in my town. Alright. Pre-shave is nice and loaded on there. And here we go. I saw Mr. Bubbles, Mr. Chris Cullen do a Facebook Live video today. So that was cool hanging out and harassing him a little bit in his man boobs <laughs> Chris tweak more water so I'm just gonna dip the tips now with my synthetics I generally pour my bloom water concoction into it but with the badger that's kind of like a overload or at least for me it is getting there Getting there, almost there. Just a wee bit more water. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. There is a method to my madness. When I paint, I paint in the direction that lifts my hairs. So if you would think of it like shaving, it's kind of like an against the grain to my whiskers to help lift them. There. Now you can see it. Creamy goodness. Melted ice cream right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> That is a nice lather. It's nice getting the hang of a brush again that's natural animal hair. There you go. Thumbs up for the creamy goodness. Thanks, man. Warm the razor. Well, actually, before I put, apply it to the face again. Salute. Mm. Oh yeah, now we can go. Mm. Very nice. Informational message, remember, Dirty South Shapers Meetup this September 16th here in my town. I'll be hosting at my church. Carville Bible Church. Currently, we still have Soap Commander on the docket and Sterling Soap. 
And I do believe that Ethan Chastain from the Shave and Rinker Tile will be there. As well. And formal, former Knockout Shave Company, Ralph Gab. Looking forward to some new folks that I haven't met before. So if you've never been to a Dirty South Shavers meetup, uh, and you can make this one, I look forward to meeting you. Who knows, maybe even the inspector, David Fernicolo, will show up. Maybe. And a friend here locally, of course, Steve Walker. Steve Walker is going to be there, so that's always cool. And locally, one of my neighbor friends from when we first moved here has just recently got into wet shaving. Um, Michael Anania. Some of you may recognize that name from the groups. Um, so yeah. I guess I've uh, <clears throat> enabled him. All right, well, I'm gonna rinse and I'll be right back. Uh, heat indexes has been in like the mid hundreds to well, you know, like 104 to 114 for several of the past days. So I knew that if I was participating in just one July, that this was going to be the shave soap. And boy, am I glad I chose it. Just some crazy, crazy temperatures. And then when it rains, it rains and goes away so quick, feels good right after the rain, and then a few hours later, it's like a freaking sauna. There we go. Wow. Lovely getting the hang of this brush. And I do believe also break it in a little bit more. So there you go. Very nice. Mostly against the grain. Pass two. Salute. Mm. Oh yeah. So 
So any of y'all watching from the local area? Oh, around Memphis, Tennessee. Oh yeah, that is extremely nice. Take some of that leather from the goatee and go to work where I need to. Good touch up too. All right, so this is the loud part. I apologize. I'm going to rinse and I'll be back for alum and closing up.
hanging in there. Now to grab the alum. I'm gonna go with the block. Rinse it off real quick. Little crystallines on there can scratch you up because they kind of build up a little bit. So, oh, yeah, there it is. Try it off in the crook of the arm. There we go. Put it back in its case. Right there. Let it sit on there for a little bit. Rinsing out my wash rag. Or wringing it out, rather. Right, and while it does that, again, that was for the soap, it was Mile High Menthol from Katie's Bubbles. Just a great, great scent. Especially if you like Parasso Green. Really nice. Brush, the Savile Row Shave of the Man brush. The Razor. The Asylum RX Single Edge. All right, now just dab it. Oh, by the way, um, for those that saw the Groom of the Day video I did for Blackbot, it worked really well. I like that. So Douglas did well. It's from PAA, the black bot water-based pomade that he put out. Works extremely well. Uh, had a great hold on my hair. Easy to manage. And the scent is great. So, Thayer's Witch Hazel. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Dry a bit. Um, and then we'll be all right for that. And while it dries, before we get to the splash, salute. Hmm. He still sells it. Um. The last time I checked, he had the two ounce containers. They come in a four ounce tub, so they're a little bit smaller. They're not this size. They're probably about two thirds this size. And it's two, ou two ounces of soap, but it's a four ounce container. Whereas this, I believe, is an eight ounce container with six ounces of soap. No, eight ounce container with four ounces of soap. But typically his soap goes a long way. Uh, like in this one, uh, this one here, I just scoop it out and put it down in here. Well, I do that with all my soaps now if I need to. Uh, like if it's a little bit harder, I just use the beauty spoon. I'm gonna grab it real quick. One of these things, and I just will shave it off a harder soap and just press it down into whatever I'm using. So, all right. Here we go with 
Gonzo Bob Randolph. This is his special bait rum. Thank you again, bro. All right. And he puts it in a nice glass jar for vial. So here we go. Putting the juice in my hand. Oh, man, trying not to waste it. Oh, don't want to waste Gonzo juice. No. It ran down the bottle. There we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. And time for the part Douglas hates. I don't care. I'm going to put it in my hair because I don't care. <laughs> Bay rum all around. <laughs> oh yeah. The beard. Cross the eyebrows. Sideburns. <laughs> Everybody should do that. Just because Douglas hates it. And post it. <laughs> Alright everybody. Thank you for watching and hanging around. Um you watch it later i thank you for that as well uh god bless you all continue to pray for uh, julie and her family uh, with her grandma and the cancer um just for comfort and strength uh, my neighbor downstairs she's doing much better um so that's a blessing thank you I'll probably do another one sometime over the weekend. If you want to join along live, that's great. If you watch later, that's awesome too. Thank you. Thank you. It was an awesome shave. I appreciate it. God bless you all.